Hi guys, welcome to this video session. In this session, we are going to see about resistance welding principles and different types of resistance welding. Resistance welding, see it's sometimes called as electric resistance welding. It is a process by which metals can be joined together by applying pressure and conducting a strong electric current through the metals. This video is explains about the working principle of resistance welding. Just observe this. Resistance welding equipment consists of a power source and two water-cooled electrodes. The heat source is provided by the electrodes which conduct electrical current through the sheets of metal being joined. The melting occurs at the interface of the sheets of metal due to the resistance to the flow of electrical current. When the current is turned off, the metal cools, resulting in a welded bond between the two pieces. As noted earlier, the electrodes are water-cooled to prevent overheating. No shielding is required due to the rapid local heating and cooling along with the pressure applied by the electrodes which prevent contamination from entering the joint. Filler metal is not required in resistance welding and we always use the lap joint. To start the operation, the operator ensures all settings are proper. He assures the correct electrodes are installed. Test coupons are then welded. This is followed by a peel test to verify adequate fusion. And this diagram shows the schematic diagram of resistance arc welding. It consists of a welding head which holds the metal between its electrodes and applies pressure through force and a welding power supply which applies electric current to the metal to be welded. This resistance generates friction heat when force is applied. The advantage of its ability to weld even a small thick materials it has high welding speed. The complete process can be automated. Through this, we can weld both similar as well as dissimilar metals. It has high production rate and it's environment friendly process. The disadvantages are tool costs are very high. Work section thickness is limited because of the current requirement. It consumes high electric power. Well joints contain small tensile and fatigue power. The main application of this type of welding is it is used widely in automotive industries, particularly, particularly to make nuts as well as the bolt. The types of re resistance welding are spot welding, seam welding and projection welding. Now let us discuss about the spot welding process. Spot welding process is a resistance welding process. This welding process is also known as the resistance spot welding process. In this welding process, it used to weld two or more metal sheets by applying pressure and electrical current. 
this video will give the working principle of spot welding. This is the spot welding apparatus. These are the collars electrode. This is the metal sheet to be joined. The work piece. The metal piece are placed between the two copper electrodes and current is passed through them. The pieces are heated at their area of contact by electrical resistance. Then the electrode is passed against the metal piece by mechanical or hydraulic pressure. Applications of spot welding. It's widely used in automobile industries. Framework fabrication, manufacturing industries, sheet metal works, etc. Thank you.